In this lesson, we're going to be going over the use of who is, a utility that is used to query the various regional internet registries to store information about domain names and IP addresses. And there are five regional internet registries. First, there's Aaron which is responsible for North America, so that would be the U.S. and Canada. And then we have LACNIC, which is responsible for Latin America and portions of the Caribbean. RIPE, that's responsible for Europe, the Middle East, and Central Asia. AFRINIC, which is responsible for Africa. And finally, we have APNIC, which is responsible for the Asia-Pacific Rim. So that's the regional internet registries, and as I said, Whois is responsible for querying information from the various regional internet registries, and you can use Whois to get information about who owns a particular IP address. So, for example, I could do Whois, and I'm just going to make up an address here, and Whois tells me that actually belongs to IBM you can find out pretty quickly who owns particular IP addresses and who's responsible for them. And from that information, you can get email addresses that belong to a particular company. This one has an email address for the tech contact of ipreg at us.ibm.com. So that's just doing a Whois query. I can specify which Whois registry I want to query. So different IP addresses and different information belong in the different regional internet registries, of course. So if I wanted to go to a particular database, I would use the minus H flag. So I could do whois.aaron.net and remember the IP address. And I'm going to query that again. And of course, I get the same information back because I went to where it's actually stored. So I can query the regional internet registries directly using the minus H flag, and the different registries, of course, would use whois.whatever for their whois server. So in this case, it would be whois.aaron.net. So I can get information about domains as well. So I can query infiniteskills.com, and I can find out that this is infinite skills. There's an administrative contact and a technical contact, and you can see the different domain servers. So the servers that would have authoritative information about the DNS entries for that particular domain. You can also see other information like when the record was created for that particular domain. This goes back to 2007. Now, I could also find information where I may not know specifically what I'm looking for. So if I just did who is foo, I would get a whole lot of systems and domain names that existed with that particular string in it. So you can see it actually aborted after 50 records were found because there's a lot of different systems out there that have foo as part of the name of the system. So the regional registries, in addition to storing information about IP addresses and domain names, sometimes will store information about particular host names. And there may be other reasons why you would store a host name or particular information about a host name or a system name within one of the RIRs. Now, if I wanted to look up something specifically once I had found that, I could now do a lookup on who is foo.bar. And it says we don't actually know what that is. Not surprising. I could also do something like this where I'd get more detailed information about all of the things that it turned up. So if I did a who is equals foo, I've got all of these bits of information. So here, for example, is foo.net, the registrar is network solutions, and I've got a couple of name servers here, and the creation date and the expiration date, same thing here with foo.com. So I could scroll up and find more detailed information about the 50 specific things, just in case you wanted to get more information to figure out which entity you were actually looking for. You could use the equals and help you narrow down what you were really looking for.
So I'm using who is as a command line utility here. There are other ways of accessing who is, and this command line utility is available on Unix-like operating systems. Right now, though, I'm going to show you a web interface at geektools.com, and Geektools has a handful of tools that are useful for system administrator kind of uses, and in this case, for our ethical hacking uses. So I'm going to go to the who is site. They've got a little captcha thing there. And now I'm going to say I want to look up infiniteskills.com. And it's the same thing as I had before. It's just I've got a web interface. So you could do this from like your phone or a tablet or some other device where you may not have command line access. As long as you've got a web browser, you can look up all of this information. Now, if you're running on Windows and you like the command line access for maybe programmatic reasons, you want to script a bunch of things or something like that, or you just like typing, there is a who is utility for Windows. So if you go to Windows Sys internals, you can download it. So it provides the same functionality as the one that you can get on Unix-like systems. So that's information about how you would look up details about maybe your target and get more information about them using who is.